Actually, I'm just going to make a storage area that accepts fish. To honor the glory of Egypt, the city of Menakuhu request you send 500 devins. Well, we have plenty of that. That is one thing we have indubitably tons and tons of, and that is cold, hard cage. These guys always somehow walk the wrong direction. Fifteen percent. All right. All right. Ooh. Let's get our potters running. That's not something I have seen in a while. Where is that? Well, we definitely have an apothecary. Is there something wrong with our roads? No. Perhaps this map has extra apothecary issues? I've seen that. Or at least I believe I've seen that before here. So, in order to kind of augment our apothecary, we'll just throw another apothecary in the outside tracks of some of these places, and that's solved it in the past, so I don't imagine we'll have too much trouble after this. And this guy is missing something, isn't he? No, no, he's got everything. All right, let's get our courthouses. Twelve percent. How's our soldiers looking? Soldiers are looking pretty good. But let's make sure we have an academy real quick so our soldiers are not blabbering slack-jawed buffoons, but professionally trained soldiers of the Egyptian army. I mean, they can still be slack-jawed buffoons. Yeah, that's, that's what I've seen in the past. But it's been a couple of these maps that just a solid, um, solid green. Just malaria seems to happen more. Maybe that's just anecdotal evidence, and it's on these maps that I build it one square too large, and I screw up my entire situation. Situation. All right.
We need people over here. Don't need a, don't need a boat to, to build a fishing sh ship. They said. The card says, it was a lie. So, we've got all this going. These guys are going to need food, which makes a lot of sense because they're people, and people usually do need food to, you know, eat. Something like that, you know? So let's get it. Just make sure you're not accepting that. Let's get max of all that stuff. Let's see, are we still running low? Nah. Alright, we'll let ourselves fill up a little bit. Ah, very good. And they're, they're starting to do their work, so let's throw down another potter. And by another potter, I mean another three potters, because what's better than one potter? Potter. And more potters. Let's sort of block it up. Box it up. What I would like to do is get a storage yard right here for all this game meat. 3,000 people! Excellent. And we'll see if these these guys break completely or if they continue to function. Do we still not have any trade routes worth anything? Oh, Dock Oasis is here. They will buy Papyrus. Alright, so let's go ahead and sell Papyrus. Hooray, our first export.
And we could actually get another row of papyrus makers, I believe. So why don't we actually make them right, right over here? Like this. Five, six, and we'll get a storage area right there. Oh, yeah. yeah. I guess this is just a little bit too far for these guys to manage. So, I guess... Or maybe the hippos are getting all the people. Damn you, hippos. <laughs> Just look at that giant stupid... Stupid route. Oh, man. That's okay. We'll throw a work camp over here. Just... For that. Just for that single place. Ra upset with us. Oh no, no. Ra is super, super thrilled with us because we built so many amazing shrines at the beginning of the game. He's like, you're, you're cool. You're cool, buddy. We like you. Our long and dangerous trek here was for nothing. The city won't trade. Alright, just a few things. Weaponsmith. Because I think we're running out of weapons. Yeah, that's that's our bottleneck for soldiers. Hey, we're starting to get some fish. Fish! And before these guys burn down their huts, because that's what everybody likes to do in ancient Egypt, is burn down their huts, their neighbor's huts, their grand neighbor's huts. I don't even know how that works, but they do it. They do it really effectively. Alright, we need a water supply, a bazaar, a tax collector position. Let's throw down that courthouse and then our what apothecary. We'll slap an extra one on the end. And let's throw a dentist in the middle as well. Everywhere. Everybody gets dentists. Alright, and that... that was, <laughs> these reed gatherers are just getting murdered. Oh. <laughs> There's no horror. These hippos are just, just cruel, cruel gods. In fact, just for that, we will erect a statue to honor the hippos out in Hippo Land. <laughs> we respect you. We built you a statue. It's even got a little pot on it. Don't eat us. <laughs> And we are full up on wood. Well, I think we're going to get more... More fish. <laughs> All right, we're gonna need our. Uh... Oh no, the hippos are killing everybody at the ferry again. <laughs> this time on the other side. We need more forts. 
Those jerks. If we can wall in the hippos, we'll just build a little hippo fence. The hyena has always got out of that crap. I could never successfully wall them in. They just like walked around it like, eh. And they kept popping up everywhere. Bunch of jerks. I hate hyenas. Alright, so we should start thinking about that temple complex to Bast. We should throw that somewhere because it's going to help us out. As well, we should get a granary up here. We already have one. Alright, then we shouldn't get another granary. Let's get that temple complex up and running. Valeria, on this side of the fence. Well, you bastards. I probably actually do have a problem on this side of the wall. I probably made this one a little bit too big. And that means, yeah, we're going to have problems also with our other services, like our bazaars. So we're going to have to build another bazaar in there. What is this guy getting? Just fish? Just fish. And that place might want, you know, like a... a road so it doesn't fall over. Uh, yeah, it'll eventually look pretty. Like, this one looks pretty behind there. Let's see how our money is doing. Taxes in, not super great. Imports. Wages. Construction. Alright, our construction almost. Our... Our city is almost cash flow positive in terms of just basic stuff. So let's see, what? We have 12% unemployment. Alright, well 12% unemployment means we need to just keep making, keep making potteries. I knew it. I knew that we were going to have to send freaking game meat. There's only 100 in storage yards. Alright. This guy is the shortest trip ever. have this one just get half and we'll have that sitting there because they're gonna if they ask for it once they're gonna ask for it twice that's how these things work I'm gonna get this guy is gonna get half clay and accept half pottery. We're probably gonna need a lot more clay pits than this. Get 
Get out of here, hippo. I'm tired of your shit. Oh, we can't even build it. Good job, me. Good job. Let's just slap down that festival square and start praying. Start praying to people. What are these guys complaining about? No food. No food? There's plenty of food. This place is probably too big or something. I must have messed up again. Well, let's get some more food. <laughs> this, this hippos are just fighting all of our reed gatherers. Alright. So we threw a roadblock out in another look right there. Or camps. If you can't beat them, then sleeve them. Alright, so we're gonna get more farms. Awesome. Alright. We should be able to get that. Alright. We're just gonna keep building all this. Bam, bam, bam. Greatest farming land of all time. Of all time. So the question is can we get any more here? I don't think so. So let's not worry about it. Let's just build what we can. All the farms. All the time. All day, every day. Welcome to the farm channel. Farms are food, not friends. Remember that. Alright, so we go all the way out there, all the way down. Exit. And why don't we do something silly like... Get another little row. That 
That might be a little too far. We'll see though. Probably don't need that many work camps. But they don't care. <laughs> Probably not. They're just gonna walk along it and they're like, no, no! It's like that scene in 28 weeks later, but instead of zombies, it's the river and it's gonna drown you. <laughs> we'll give them a we'll give them a break. How about that? All right. Consider yourselves lucky, Egyptians. I was feeling charitable today. I didn't. <laughs> you don't have to run the gauntlet. Every. Every time. We might delete some of those roads later and see if they can make it. And then we can place bets. We're definitely filling up with pottery and all that stuff. Let's check our unemployment. 3%. Alright. Well, then let's do some outlying storage yard stuff. These guys are going to get a quarter of everything. I wish we could save profiles, but then again, a lot of this game is kind of just clicking a whole bunch of these buttons and thinking, I'm smart. It's kind of some of the draw of some of the older games, is that you can't just automate everything and make everything super easy. Not all the time, at least. Or at least... Employees need it. Yeah, we're going to have to start working on entertainment soon enough. Getting up there in population, though. So wrong. I guess we're actually going to start clearing the pyramid area. Well, I mean, might as well, right? They're doing something in the off season. They might as well be doing work in the field. All right, I think we're going to want it over here. So I'm going to make a little line out. Throw a firehouse, an architect post. I think I'll throw a granary over here. And a storage yard for all the little things. This, this city's coming along pretty well. So far we've not died to horrible warriors or some other destructive force. I mean, we could get a dock right here. It's not a bad place for it.
I mean, if we're gonna get a dock anytime, that's gonna probably be the best spot for it. Because we can get a bunch of storage yards right here, and we don't have to cross the river for, for stuff. Warship wharfs, we should probably put over there. Ah, oh, man, yeah, this, this place is just bad news bears. That should fix it. Hopefully. And I should check the gods real quick. All pissed at me. All of them super angry. We forgot to do best taxes and and he's just yeah he's not happy about that so let's go ahead and make more shrines to everybody Shrines to best. Awesome. So that will help all the things out. And let's get that temple complex. We're going to build it earlier, but we're going to build it now instead because reasons. And we're going to build it on this side of the of the water. Get out of the way, immigrants. We're trying to build a temple complex. And as usual, snag all the cool oracles. Alright, so we will use less food, we will do less of whatever, and be better at everything. Because... Because Egyptian Jesus, which has a very distinct way of murdering our uh, reef gatherers. It looks like we don't have quite enough work camps over there. It's just a little too far. It's probably just employees. Disease strikes. Yeah, and this place is also too big over here. So we'll just move some people. Alright. We have plenty of food. Plenty of all that. We're going to need more people. to get more jobs. Let's take a look at our trade and everything. Negative 13,000, construction was 11,000. We're almost at zero unemployment. We're actually doing pretty well for all that. And we could get... another housing block like right in the middle here. I think I'll need to. Yeah. 
We're just gonna turn off that straw industry. Linen is exportable, but there's no import for flax. What's the turnaround with luxury goods? 30? Yeah, it's not worth it. Five thousand whole people. Well, I think the answer is going to be most definitely entertainment for our next population prize. So let's do it. Let's get some entertainment. Do these take 20, 20 employees? Could be worse. How much do bandstands take? 12? Alright. I think that's that's plenty of entertainment for everybody over here. I'm gonna save it and I'm gonna take a minute break or so here. What are these guys all complaining about? They don't have food? But we just got all the food. These fishing boats aren't really doing too much for us. They're really slow. Maybe we just need to spam the absolute hell out of fishing boats in order to actually get anything out of them. We can't build a dock here or anything, can we? Oh, we can't. So we can get a warship wharf there. And that's two fishing boats. Alright, why don't we just get fishing boats? Commander Dark Reaper, you have a good one. Alright, so we're gonna get that rolling along. Hopefully, we can get some food going. Impressive that we haven't had any other asks going on. Maybe they're just expecting you to have a hard run at the beginning of this mission, which we kind of are. We have not been cash positive whatsoever. Alright, I'll be right back. I'll just kind of let it run smoothly.
Well, um, I guess nothing caught on fire while I left. <laughs> At least I hope not. It would have prompted me right. Ah, good old child labor. The bazaar needs some items, and I'm going to get them. All right, now these guys need pottery. Well, I think these storage yards are going to have a little bit of a hard time pulling the items that we need down, so we're going to we're going to have two of them because because I I'm just going to. So, you could just deal with it. Game I'm just not impressed with these fishing boats. They're not they're not outputting that much food at all. Pathetic. They suck fishing boats. Okay, so these are 69% fertile and these are 20% fertile? I think the irrigation is actually uh yeah, the irrigation helps. So let's make sure we uh we do it. And if we are having food problems, which we really kind of aren't, yeah, we are not having food problems. Excellent, that's very good. All right, let's put our entertainment buildings out here. Let's get our dance school. You no, know, we can, we can get animals for our zoo. And then people can come watch the hippos eat people at their convenience. Hippos are terrifying creatures. There's only so many animals that can just literally bite you in half. And hippos are one of them. It's the trader's life for me. All right, so we got that working. So that's two pavilions. So let's go ahead and get some more pavilions. One here, and I want another right. Like so. And then there. And then why not over there? And I think we're going to need some more entertainers. Employees needed. Yes, yes. So let's get a, a juggling school. A dance school. And a conservatory. And then up here, we're going to need the same sort of thing. School, pavilion. Conservatory and the juggling school.
that may suffice for our entertainment needs. Malaria. Where? I don't see it. I guess it went away immediately. Huh. What? Strange accomplishment. All is quiet in the court. All is quiet in the court. There is no crime here. Good. We don't want crime. Alright, so we have paper, so we can get like some scribal schools and stuff like that. These guys, though, we need a supply of beer. Can we even import frickin' barley? Oh, there's a new trade route. Where? Where is it? Ah, Minak Khufu. They will buy bricks and sell barley. They will buy bricks. Alright, well we can sell bricks. Let's take a look at our unemployment. Zero percent. Let's see how close we are. Uh, we're getting there. Yeah, they are also horribly territorial, aggressive, and bastards. That's why they are so terrifying. Alright, well, we should start getting a sizable amount of income from taxes after this gigantic upgrade. Are these guys having trouble with, with food? Is that what's going on? Yeah, okay, so food is... We made all these just a little bit too big, didn't we? And by we, I mean I, because you know, I built this city. These immigrants didn't help. Again, let's... Raw would be good. Alright. Let's double check our gods. They're all apathetic and not super happy with us. Which is okay. So let's get four shrines to every god. Very good, very good. Where are these pottery dudes going? I guess they came all the way over here to deliver pottery. And now they're going home because they're sad. These guys also, no bazaars. Alright, more bazaars, everywhere. So many shrines, I know. They're all necessary though. 4% unemployment. That's what we want to see. So what we want to do is we want to set up those brickworks, I believe. That is going to be our next source of income. So let's turn that brick industry, I mean that straw industry back on. Let's get those brick brickworks going full time. And we're going to want a storage yard for bricks. And let's see what where we can actually export bricks to. Bricks. All right. Let's export when we have any. We're gonna need some. We're gonna need some money here. Will I regret it? I will never regret it. Such a decision. 
cut to three minutes later. I regret this decision. So let's see, where are they exporting to? Um, Minet Khufu will buy 1500 bricks. They are overland, I guess? Alright. Well, they won't buy many bricks, but I'm, I may need bricks for stuff anyway, so let's just do it. Who cares? These guys are just waiting for food. Yes, yes, that makes sense. Alright, and who will who will sell us barley? So these guys will sell barley over land. These guys will sell bricks. These guys will sell copper and gems. But nobody's selling anything else. That's interesting. Alright, so it's over land. So we're going to put our I'm gonna put our beer making facilities over here. Because I just decided to right now. That was me. All me. Uh, so, we're going to need brewers. So let's get barley, and let's get beer. Hello, luck is real. Welcome. It is going well. We finished the previous map, and it went well. Um, after after sleeping on it, it was very easy to determine what the problem was. The problem was I had um, I didn't have good enough houses. It, it wasn't that on average I needed better houses. It was just that I needed better houses. So I needed the three by threes, and I did not realize that. And as soon as I did, everything worked. So on this map, we have yet to be anywhere near profitable. It's actually a pretty big problem. And I have a feeling we're going to have a lot of problems with food here shortly. Where the hell are these hunters? Like, they should be killing all these birds. I'm I'm just gonna delete a lot of these. Like where where'd he go? You know? I think he's gone. He's gone away. He's gone home. He's never coming back. An excellent inundation. Alright. So we We do need more food. Get out there, guys. things. Get food. Get it all. Get all the food. Uh, we pretty much want... Yeah, we want these, um, the granaries pretty much 
getting all the fish. Like, we want to pull the fish out of these storage yards that are local to the fisheries. That's kind of my, my thought. So the fishery dude, like this guy, will get out of his... He'll get this fish out of the boat, and he'll run right over to the storage yard, and bam, you know, as fast as he can. The apothecary burned down. Good job, apothecary. Smoking on the job. Yeah. Not the smartest thing to do. This city has the brightest smile in all of Egypt. Excellent. Alright, we could get, like, some chariot makers and all that. Let's take a look. Unemployment? We have unem we have unemployed people. So, the question would be, should we go ahead and get some chariots? I haven't seen any asks for... You know, I'm just going to keep building infantry, just because... I don't need to employ a bunch more people building chariots if I don't have to. And we did start importing barley, didn't we? Yeah, we did. That is a massive pyramid. So the next level is basically all booze for our citizens, the good people.